this film is it's it's like fa it's fa found footage film. What is it like directing a film that's that's kind of that genre? It's difficult because uh, I think there's a way to do it well and there's a way. Uh, that it can just become a big mess. Uh, so for us it was a challenge to keep uh, the style interesting, to keep pushing the aesthetic of time tr uh, of, of found footage and to try and uh, uh, do different things with it. And time travel's been done a lot throughout cinema history. What do you think is different about uh, your view of time travel and Project Almanac's kind of portrayal of it? Well we try to make um, ours two things, very contemporary, very relatable to teen teenagers today and their lives and what they would do with the time machine and then in our aesthetic stylistic approach we try to make it as dangerous and as unpredictable and as full of mistakes as possible we don't have an expert in our cast uh, saying well I know how this works and you just none of them know what they're doing and they have to learn as they go on and I think all of that combined allows us to enter the genre in a slightly different way so Virginia was telling us that she actually got to film a lot of it because she was kind of the 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 actor, her character filmed a lot of what was going on. What was it like kind of working with her and the other actors and showing them how to shoot uh, kind of the movie itself? Yeah, um, it was really an amazing feat by our camera operator Dana Morris and our cinematographer Matt Lloyd. They built the camera really small. So a lot of the times they're right next to Virginia and uh, they're actually filming it for most, for the majority of the movie and it just feels as if she's holding it. And then sometimes they had a choreograph moves where the camera operator would hand the camera off to her um, and they spent a lot of time perfecting those moves so it feels uh, both very real and that it's Virginia's actually shooting it but it has a cinematic quality to it because we have an amazing cinematographer and camera operator uh, behind the camera. Absolutely amazing. So what projects do you have coming up uh, after Project Almanac? Well I'm developing a few things uh, uh, one of which is War Games uh, which I'm very excited about out, uh, so hopefully we'll be here <laughs> next year. Next year, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, and congratulations on the film. It, it looks amazing. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.